Hey, welcome back to Active Duty Outdoors. I'm over here with Fish Gum Tony, the legend, the guy who makes all the good stuff that you guys get to catch fish with. We also got Red Beard over yes, here. Yes, sir, Mr. Red Beard. He's, he's coming up. He's probably gonna out, out fish us all because that's what Red Beard does. But pretty good. We're gonna we're gonna give him a run for his money though, right? That's right. So Don't Tony's already out. got three on the beach. I don't want to feel included. I want there to be, is. To, to, be a part is. Of to, to be clear, they got here a little late, and I was here before the sun came out. So I already got three because I was the early bird. That's right. That's what old people bird. do. Early I was here at one. four o'clock this morning waiting on Tony, <laughs> and he wasn't here yet, so I left to get breakfast. That's, right. That's, That's right. a good one. I like That's that. That's what it was. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna soak these lines. We're gonna go after some fish. You guys stay tuned. It's gonna be great. All right, guys. On this one, I got a fresh live sand flea. So I'm throwing this op shrimp on the top rig and again we're topped off with fish gum and a three ounce pyramid all right listen look at all the rods i don't know if you guys can see it on the gopro but we have one two three four five six seventeen hundred forty three about 1900 rods out here on this one little stretch of beach 100 billion <laughs> rods 100 million <laughs> so if there's something coming through here they're either gonna bite somebody's line or they're gonna get tangled up in somebody's line yeah we're gonna at least snag them we're gonna snag something at least all right guys here's a perfect little example of a rip current you guys can see these waves watch it watch this wave going back out to sea so you shouldn't see that waves are supposed to come this way now watch it, it's gonna go right back out that way. That's not a big rip, but it's a little rip. There it goes. See it, reverse wave. If that ain't a rip, you guys tell me if I'm wrong. All right, we're on. We got our first fish, oh, did you come off? Hopefully they come off. Oh, he's still there. There he is. He's getting washed up in the waves. You guys see him? All right. What do we got? Hopefully he didn't come off with that wave. No, he's still getting pulled. Looks like a pompano. A nice pompano. Real nice pompano. it's a little windy out here today we moved down we were down there with Redbeard and Tony earlier and I moved down the weather's kind of changed the winds picked up but we got our first pump and he is gonna be fourteen to the fork all right so here's our first pump over for the day a little windy out here so I'm gonna try to get you guys out of the wind hopefully that sounds a little bit better but this guy just measured 14 at the fork. We're gonna put him in the box and uh, we're gonna get these lines back out, see if we can't get any more. So thanks to uh, Fish Gum Tony for the uh, OP soak. That's what this guy was caught on. And uh, we're gonna go see if we can get some more. All right guys, so that's probably gonna be it. I haven't had another bite for a while. So we're gonna get this guy home. We're gonna take him, we're gonna clean him out and we're gonna cook him, do a little catch and cook. I'll show you guys how I make some fish tacos out of this bad boy. And they're gonna be delicious. Check it out. All right, guys, we got our pompano out here. It's already been bled out. Let's stretch him out a little bit. Get his exercises in. So with the pompano, they have a lot of meat up here around their heads, and it's kind of a soft tissue behind their gill plate. So what we'll do is come in right where we bled them. We're gonna follow that gill plate kind of up and around. Right in through there to get that head meat. Then we're gonna come down top of his spine. Just make a small incision 
all the way down. I always like to punch through his tail. And then from where we start our cut here, we're gonna go diagonal down to his anal fin. Just like so. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side before we remove that fillet, just so that it is easier to, to manage. He's not all lopsided when we're trying to make our cuts. All right, now that we got all of our cuts, we're just gonna come in through here, follow our initial cut down, and just start peeling them back. Staying right on that spine and that rib cage. And you'll feel it. So we're just slowly moving that meat. Once you get down towards his belly, you just start cutting them off. There you go. Do it the same thing on this side. You can always tell if you did a good job if you can kind of see daylight through through them. Come through here, cut that triangle out, get those pin bones. There you go, that's what your filet will look like when it's done. All the bones removed. Now this one we're just gonna fry up and put on the griddle with the skin on. So that's the cleaning part. Now I'll show you guys the cooking part and how I make these tacos. They're gonna be delicious. All right guys, for the cook, I got the grill going. And I got the Blackstone about to get fired up. And I'm gonna show you guys how I make these street tacos with this pompano. Here's my pompano fillets. It's got aluminum foil on it to keep the flies out of it. The only thing I use is this Blackstone street taco stuff. This stuff is pretty dang good. I usually, uh, I used to make my own just with salt, pepper, a little bit of cumin and uh, some garlic, but this stuff is just fine. So I'm gonna throw a little bit of that on there. And then we got some of our toppings over here. So this lime, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna roll it out. Get that bad boy. I'm gonna hit that with a little juice. That's pretty good. I'm gonna take it over here to the pit boss. We got this thing going at 400 degrees. Set that right on there. We're gonna let that cook for a little bit. All right, while all that stuff's warming up and cooking, we're gonna grab our cilantro, put a big head of it, and start chopping it. Just chop it up into small little chunks. I'm not the best chopper, but I get it done. That's good, that's pretty good consistency right there. That's what we're looking for, just a nice little chop. Move that over to the side, grab our little tomato. We're just gonna cut that into little, little pizza slices. We're gonna take our avocado, cut that bad boy open. Are those ready to go inside the tacos? All right, so all of our ingredients are cut. Our lettuce, 
We just got some shredded lettuce from the store in the bag. Ain't nothing fancy about that. See where these guys are at. Still going. So we're gonna let that go. We're gonna let this warm up and then I will be right back. All right, now if you're the chef, you're the one cooking, this is that little piece of head meat that I was telling you about. You could come in here, fill that sucker off. Ooh, that's hot. Give that a little taste. Dang, man, that's good. That pompano, I'm telling you, that thing is, woo, that's awesome. All right, so that fish is just about done. Now what we're gonna do over here is we're gonna take our peanut oil. So that's what I like to grill things in. I'm just gonna dump it on this thing. I mean, we are, this puppy is hot, hot. So we'll probably even turn that down a little bit. Move that grease around. Then you gotta get these white corn tortillas. You can make these yourself too, if you're fancy, if you're inclined. I am not. Then we're gonna take these, and we're just gonna slap those down in that oil. Let them sit on there for about a minute on each side. They'll start kind of bubbling up. I like to push them down just so I can make sure that it's all getting crispy. See how it's starting to turn brown a little bit? That's what you want, that's what you're looking for. Then you can invest in one of these little guys. This thing, I love this, because I'll just set this thing in here. I'll set my tacos down, I'll make them right inside of this little tray. And it forms the tacos perfectly. Because these tacos are hardened after they sit out for a second. You get one, two, three, four, five, six. Six in there. So I'm gonna throw one more taco on here. All right, then once you're done, you kinda you get some of that grease and oil off of those things, just put them back on there. That's what I was talking about, like they dry up once they harden. They're in the shape of a taco, man. It's perfect. It's like this thing was made for it. All right, so we got one of our fillets over here. And since if you still have it on the skin, we're just gonna take our spoon and just peel it off. And that skin comes right off. And what you're left with is a nice flaky white fillet. We're gonna take that and we're gonna start loading up our tacos. Ooh, that's hot. All right, then our tacos, they're gonna get a little cilantro on each of them. Just like that. They're gonna get a little bit of tomato on each of them. And get a little avocado on each of them. If you don't like avocados, that's cool. You don't have to have them. If you're allergic to peanuts, don't use the peanut oil. Use olive oil, that's cool too. And then we're gonna take a little bit of our shredded cheese. We're gonna douse it on there. We're gonna pour some lettuce on there. All right, and then Sarah likes this bee sting mango passion pepper sauce. Just wanna throw that on one of them tacos. Ah, I like this Texas Pete Mexican style hot sauce. So I'm gonna throw that on one of them tacos. You're really gonna make me eat this on camera? Yeah, you gotta get it on camera. Everybody's gotta see the taste test. They think that I'm faking it if we don't eat it. And if I eat it, they're gonna be like, oh, he's biased, he made it. So there you go. Let's get our tacos. Cheers, taco. Cheers, taco. Don't drink in my drink, man. <laughs> Where's my margarita? Mm, margarita would be good. <laughs> How is it? Is it fishy? Mm -mm. Not like the last time you had it? Mm -mm. Oh, shoot. That was a little much. These little homemade tacos, or these little fried tacos, they really make it. All right, guys. 
I'm not going to make you sit here and watch us eat these tacos. But we're about to down these suckers because they're pretty delicious. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed that catch and cook. Don't forget, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.